reading from the Old Testament today is from the history as given in Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 1 through 9. Now this is the commandment, the statutes and the ordinances that the Lord your God charged me to teach you to observe in the land that you are about to cross into and occupy, so that you and your children and your children's children may fear the Lord your God all the days of your life and keep all his decrees and his commandments that I am commanding you so that your days may be long. Hear therefore, O Israel, and observe them diligently, so that it may go well with you, and so that you may multiply greatly in the land flowing with milk and honey, as the Lord, the God of your ancestors, has promised you. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord alone, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with your soul, and with all your might. Keep these words that I am commanding you today in your heart. Recite them to your children and talk about them when you are at home and when you are away, away, when you lie down and when you rise. Find them as a sign on your hands. Fix them as an emblem on your forehead and write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. And reading from the New Testament, it's from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 13, starting at verse 4. Love is patient, love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, it believes all things, it hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. As for prophecy, they will come to an end. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will come to an end. This ends the readings from the scripture. May we be blessed in the hearing of these words.